Hello? Hi, this is Marcus calling from Wedding and Events. I'm looking to speak with Sophia and This is she. Hey, Sophia. How are you today? I'm good. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing wonderful. Thank you. The big day's right around the corner. Are you ready or what? <laughs> I think so. I hope so. <laughs> so I just wanted to let you know some not-so-good news, but it isn't anything we can't handle, okay? Oh, okay. Well, what are you talking about? So your point person, Jennifer, had to head out of town for a family emergency, and unfortunately, she will not be able to coordinate for you. Are you joking right now? Tell me you're joking. Mm, I'm actually not. She is so, so sorry. Well, I understand people have emergencies, but I mean, I went over everything with her. Like, she has all the details of everything that, like, I wanted for the wedding. I know, I know, I get that, but I just got off the phone with her just a couple minutes ago, and she gave me all the details, so I'm really confident that I can pull this off for you. What, like, you're going to do this? I, of I don't, course. I haven't met you. I don't know you. I mean, like... No, trust me. Trust me on this, okay, Sophia? I'm going to sub in for her, and it looks like the B team is out to lunch, and the A team just swooped in. Um, mm -hmm. I guess so, but I mean, is there any chance that she's coming back? I really don't think so. But listen, girl, between you, me, and the DJ, I've done so many of these, I can't even count anymore. You know what I'm saying? Because um, if you're counting my stepmom's wedding last summer, I've done this twice. Yeah, that's not going to work. Oh, so I mean, no, I mean, no, no, no. Excuse me. I've nailed this twice. I don't care if you felt like you nailed it. That has nothing to do with me or my wedding. And I, I want somebody more experienced. And I don't no, know. No, sweetie, listen. I think you're going to be impressed that I coordinated. Don't call me sweetie, okay? I, do, I, like, I don't like the way that you speak to me. Okay, I, no, like, Sophia, what I need you to do is put the bridezilla to the side for the second, okay? It's just you and me. That's not, that is not appropriate, calling me that. You, you don't know me at all. And I think that you can understand that if something, like, at the very last minute changes, like, Honey, a week before your wedding. Yeah, I feel like I just need to ask you a quick question question have you eaten yet today because you are sounding grumpy what is wrong it with is you grumpy still skin up in here you deserve the rudeness you're being impossible and Sophia like... I would argue I'm not being impossible I'm being your mr. impossible right now I am doing the impossible you're a joke there is no way Jennifer did this to me I let I me just tell you this okay your wedding was gonna be a joke until I stepped in and saved the day. Because I have made some what? changes for you. Changes that I, no, dare I you say, you're going to love. No, no, no. Yes. What, what changes do you think that you're making that are improving my wedding? I've already gone ahead and done them. What? I went to the bakery this morning, and I told them I'm the main wedding coordinator now, so I wanted to try the first bite of the cake. You did not touch my cake. Oh, yes, I did. You did, no. You're going to be happy that I did that because it was not up to my standards. So what? they're going to make you a brand new one, and this time, it's not lemon. Ick. It is peanut butter. Oh my god, that's disgusting. That is disgusting. Have you read the latest bridal magazines? Peanut butter is no. the new vanilla. I don't care what you think is whatever. It's going to be a lemon cake. And so you're basically telling me I have to go behind you and do the work that Jennifer and I already did. Honey, you honey no. See, I've, I've already told the baker not to take your calls anymore because you're too stressed out. <laughs> Okay, so it, so it is going to be peanut butter. It's and look, not going to be peanut butter. I feel like this conversation isn't going super well right now. Oh, you think? So maybe it'd be better if we put your fiancé on the phone. I feel like he might be a little bit more level-headed. No, you're not going to talk to my fiancé. That's bullshit. I don't want to hear it. Like, is there anything else no, I have to deal with? Don't be threatened by me. I'm not trying to move in on your man. Oh, honey, I am not threatened by you. Oh, my God. The only reason that I bring that up is because that's what happened at my stepmom's wedding. I don't care what and happened at your stepmom's wedding. it was a disaster. Oh, God. oh, my God. But I swear it's not going to happen with you. F*** me. How can it f*** you, actually? Oh. I can't believe this is happening, like, a few days before. I, at this, this is... point, I'm really glad that I canceled the booze at the wedding because of what? this type of attitude's coming out while you're sober. You did what? I got rid of the booze at the wedding. What is wrong with you? Do you know how many Who weddings you, you know how that? many weddings I've seen get ruined by people drinking too well, much booze? It sounds like not many by your experience. Okay, well, I guess you're kind of right on that because it only happened at yeah. my stepmom's wedding, but she did drink so much that she ended up cussing out my real dad. I don't, I don't care. And I really my don't care. You're just like saying things that I don't give a shit about. Could oh. you please just like, okay, so the alcohol, well, was rude. anything else I have to clean up now? Well, now you have to clean up our relationship because you really hurt my feelings. I don't give a shit about this relationship, but I do need you to like Ouch. snap to it and tell me if there's anything else I need to fix. Do you understand? But Sophia, how are we going to work together on your big day? I don't want to work with you. You are a crazy person and I need either someone else to deal with me right now, or you to tell me if there's anything else that I need to fix. Okay, you know what? Fine. I'm out. You've ruined this. Thank God. Is there anything else? No, anything thank else God I don't have to work about? with you.
I don't. Great, great. Uh, yeah. Low clap for you, sir. Okay, can yeah. I please have. Maybe you can yeah. clap for this prank phone call. <laughs> ha! Gotcha. What are you In talking your about, face, Sophia? I just pranked you. Who are you? Oh, you want to know who I am? My name is Jeffrey from the radio show Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning, and this is actually a prank call. Oh my God! Are it's you a joke. Kidding?